Hey everybody, time for another Wisdom of the Masters. I am Sean Webb. Today's mastery comes from Robert J. Ingersoll, who said this, Anger blows out the lamp of the mind. Now, kind of a little profound statement there from Ingersoll, but completely accurate from a scientific standpoint. A lot of people who are now studying the brain are finding out that a lot of the folks that studied their mind from the inside have made a lot of the discoveries that science is now backing up. Because what happens when the limbic system starts firing, which is the center of the brain that creates a lot of our negative emotional effect, at the point that anger takes over, well, a negative emotion has fired and now the prefrontal cortex in your brain, the thinking part of your brain gets shut down because the threats of the past that create our negative emotions, such as finding a snake out in the middle of a field that you need to run from, or seeing that boulder rolling down the hill that's a threat to you, or seeing that bear that puts you into fight or flight, right? That anger that comes up within you to try to you know, get big and scare the bear away, that type of thing. Well, that kind of stuff 150 years ago it was appropriate to shut down our thinking mind because we didn't need that energy being wasted on how to think our way out of a problem. We just needed the energy in our legs to run. And so when Ingersoll is talking about anger blows out the lamp of the mind, he is completely correct. That's exactly what happens in that our limbic system fires, the prefrontal cortex shuts off, your thinking brain shuts off, which is great for 150 years ago, but nowadays, not so good because a lot of our threats, a lot of our challenges, a lot of the things that create our negative emotional responses are things we now have to think our way out of. Like at work, we have cubicles and we have a computer and we have email and we have processes to follow to do whatever the things are that we need to do, but we got to think our way out of our problems a lot of the time. And so when Ingersoll says anger blows out the lamp of the mind, we need to remind ourselves we need to take control of that process. We need to take control of our negative emotional process, get it quelled down as quickly as possible so that we can get our prefrontal cortex turned back on and think our way out of our problems, especially those that are connected with our home, with our personal relationships, with our family and friends. You know, when these problems arise, it can cause a great deal of turmoil in our lives and in the lives of others. So it's important to be able to take control of our emotional process and thus turn back on our prefrontal cortex so that we can start to analyze our way out of a problem. So Ingersoll's right. You don't have to be a victim of that process though. Check out Mind Hacking Happiness on how to turn down your negative stuff. Talk to you soon. Peace. Share this shit.